Now from Guinea-Gwilly is Christy Cronin with the charming Quarry Cross. On the evening fair, to take the air, I strayed from my abode. I passed beside the Quarry Cross, along the Quarry Road. My mind it being unoccupied, as I wandered in a dream, till awakened by the rippling of a little mountain stream. With open eyes in much surprise, around me I did gaze, to view a scene of meadows green, I stood in deep amaze. The heather brown was gaily crowned, like snow or the dewy'd moss, as the evening cloud cast a lightly shroud o'er the charming quarry cross. Each summer Sunday evening, as far as I can look, I see a crowd from Sweet Moss Road, likewise the top of Knook. Them march along in a joyful throng, their leisure doors to pass, and rest a while from weary toil beside the quarry cross. Farewell unto the limestone pit, o'er which I often stood. Farewell unto those lovely groves, and those shapeless banks of mud. Farewell to you, my mother dear, to every lad and lass, and a fond farewell to all who dwell beside the quarry cross. Another crowd of whom I'm proud, I did not mention yet. They are the mocking towering boys, those lads I'll ne'er forget. When I'm far from home, far o'er the foam, my memory still will last, as if it was carved in marble stone beside the quarry cross. <coughs> Farewell unto the blacksmith's forge, where I used to resort. Farewell to you, my comrades all, with whom I used to sport. Farewell to you, my mother dear, to every lad and lass, and a fond farewell to all who dwell beside the quarry cross. If ever you're in trouble, our hardships firmly bound, there's no other spot in all the earth where pleasure can be found. Tis there you'd spy each bright-eyed boy, likewise a fair-haired lass, so give a call to the whitewashed walls beside the quarry cross. Thank you. 
After that reel now from Eileen Cronin, we go to somebody from the other end of the Sluggadal to Jared Lynch from Clown Keen. And Jared is going to sing for us. Oh, and well, sweet Donegal, the Rosses and Guidor. I'm crossing the main ocean where the foaming billows roar. It breaks my heart from you to part where I spent many happy days. Farewell to kind relations for I'm bound for America. Oh, my love is tall and handsome and her age is scarce eighteen. She far exceeds all other maids when she trips o'er the green. Her lovely neck and shoulders are fairer than the snow. Till the day I'll die, I'll ne'er deny my Mary from Dunlow. I, if I was back in sweet Dunlow, a letter I would write. Kind thoughts would fill my bosom for Mary, my delight. It's in her father's garden the fairest violets grow. And t'was there I came to court the maid, my Mary from the low. Oh, then Mary, you're my heart's delight, my pride and only care. It was your cruel father would not let me stay here. But absence makes the heart grow fond, and when I'm o'er the main, may the Lord protect my darling girl, until I return again. Oh, I wish I was in sweet and low and seated on the grass. And by my side a bottle of wine and on my knee, alas, I'd call for liquor of the best and I'd pray before I'd go, and I'd roll my Mary in my arms in the town of Sweet Dunlow. You can. You can. Go on with it. Back again now to somebody from Shrone to sing us a song. This is Dan Scannell from Shrone, and he's going to sing us London Dairy, is it? All right, so. Thank you. <laughs> I know there is a wee spot, and a spot of great fame. It lies to the north. I will tell you its name. Tis my own native birthplace, and on Irish soil, and they call it London Derry, on the banks of the Foyle. I was young and foolish, like more of the boys. I had not many sorrows, nor yet many joys. 
I worked hard for a living, and hard I did toil, far away from London Derry, on the banks of the foil. I courted a Colleen at the age of eighteen. She was one of the fairest, oh, your eyes ever seen. Her cheeks, they were like roses. She had hair waved in coil, and she came from Londonderry on the banks of the foil. But now I have left her and crossed o'er the seas to try and make a fortune for Mary and me. I cried when I left her, my tears wet the soil far away from Londonderry on the banks of the foil. <coughs> but when I'll have a fortune, it is home I will go to the land of my childhood and the dear girl I know. I'll build her a mansion, and no more will I toil far away from Londonderry on the banks of the foil. And now to conclude and finish my song. I hope that in those few lines I have said nothing wrong. But if ever you will chance for <laughs> to visit Irish soil, come and view Londonderry on the banks of the foil. <laughs> Right, that was Dan Scanner from Sean uh, singing about London Derry. And now we have Eileen Buckley from Mill Street, and she's going to sing a song which she composed herself, and it's all about Schlieve Lucre. Now come here and let me tell you of a place that you should know. And if you have a little time to spare, it is there that you should go. It's a place they call Schlieve Lucre, and there that you will find all the music and the dancing to drive you out of your mind. Now the great black water rises in this wild and rushy land. And it flows away downhill until it reaches Yahal Strand. It spreads out o'er the country as it flows along its way. And like the music of Schlieve Lucre, it brighten up your day. Now the people of Schlieve Lucre are proud and dignified. Their work is hard, their days are long, but they are satisfied. They're easy going and humorous and always on the ball. And the men live to be very old, and the women don't die at all. <laughs> now the music of Schlieve Lucre is known both far and wide. It is played in every country in the globe from side to side. You could hear it in the Kremlin or in sunny Tannerif. And the man to thank for all of it was the great Padre O'Keefe. Now Sir Padraig wrote the muse, played the fiddle, and he wrote the music too. He was a trained school teacher, so that was how he knew. He could have written more of it, but that was 
was not to be. He fell victim of the cold when he was only sixty-three. Sure, he wrote it on the dusty roads and he wrote it on the bog. He wrote it on fag boxes and he wrote it on no logs. He wrote it anywhere at all before the tune was gone. Sure, he go through fire and water for to pass the music on. And when he died, he left to us a precious legacy. Twas not of land or wealth or gold, but music of high degree. He also left his pupils who are playing for us today. And the music sounds so sweetly when tis played the Padraig way. There were people like Dintant and Tom Billy who was blind. Like Padraig they played music and when they died left it behind. To people like the waver Dennis Murphy was his name. And he fiddled it so sweetly that you'd think it was a dream. Now Dennis was a legend in his kind and gentle way. And with his sister Jula some fine music they did play. They played all over Ireland and in England and the States. And now he's up in heaven playing it at the Golden Gates. But thank God we still have Jula and we've Johnny Larry too. To carry on the cultures and traditions of Schlieblu. We've Johnny's daughter Ellen with her tin whistle so gay. And when she plays her slow air shirt it steal your heart away. There's the fiddler Mikey Duggan, he's a man I can't forget. And Cordell's Patsy Connell, who would play our dance set. How proud the humble Padraig would be of them today. If only he could raise his head and hear his pupils play. To the people of Schlieflucher, a sure music is like prayer. And dancing is their great release from toil and worldly care. And when they pray to God and ask him for a happy death, sure he knows they want to go while doing a carry polka set. But your music without dancing is like a hand without a leg, or a cow that gives no milk or a hen without an egg. So join us at the weekends, you'll be welcome one and all, as we batter out the rhythm on Dan Connell's stately hall. But now I must conclude and finish, though I've plenty more to say. The praises of Schlieblukera would take me all the day. The best thing for you now is come and see it at first hand. Then you'll believe the things I'm telling you of this proud and happy land. <laughs> These are the musicians that have kept These are the musicians that have kept on green on here going with the last five years. There's Teddy Cronin, Paddy Cronin, Tim Nagel, Dan Scannon, and, and Michael Cronin. And if they're famous for anything, they're famous for playing jigs. And now they're going to play two jigs for us.
I'm sorry, John, I forgot to interrupt. of the Ginny Lynn jig set. And now a visitor from Galway, somebody who works here in Kerry and often comes out here on Monday night, Bridget Fox. And Bridget will sing us a song. One evening for pleasure I rambled to Of Lochairn, where beauty. 
liberty and pleasure were known. I spied a fair maiden at labor, which caused me to stay for a while. I thought her the goddess of beauty, the blooming bright star of Belisle. I humbled myself to her beauty. Fair maiden, where do you belong? Are you from the heavens descended? Abiding in Cupid's fair throng. Young man, I will tell you a secret. It's true, I'm a maiden, but poor, and to part from my vow and my promise is more than my heart can endure. Therefore, I remain at my service and go through ship and trial and wait for the lad that hath left me alone on the banks of Belle Isle. Young maiden, I wish not to banter. It's true I came here in Disguise, I came to fulfill my last promise and hope to give you a surprise. I own you're the maid I love dearly. You've been in my heart all the Than my blooming bright star of Elisle. Yeah. Cornelius Murphy from Shrone is one of the few boys in Kerry at the moment learning to play the Ilan pipes. And now he's going to play for us a slow air first and a hornpipe.
from Christy and Michael Cronin from Guinea <laughs>